Here's very unusual question, which is frequently used in a test. You need to find the correct expression. And you're presented with choices 1 plus 1 equal 10, and second choice A plus B equals 17. You have four different options to choose from. Choice A, 1 plus 1 equals 10 is the correct expression. Choice B, the correct expression is A plus B equals 17. Choice C, both of these expressions are correct. And choice D, none of these expressions is correct. I am going to give you a quick hint. If you have a degree in computer science, it might be easier for you to solve and get to the correct solution. Regardless, I am moving forward to share the right solution with you. As you might have guessed, the trick here is that the first expression is done in a binary system. And in binary system, 1 plus 1 equals 10. Second expression is done in a hexadecimal system. And in hexadecimal system, A plus B equals 15. So the correct answer here is choice A, 1 plus 1 equals 10. Here's an amazing question which tests your analytical skills. You're presented with the set of diamonds. Each diamond has other objects inside. And you need to find the missing diamond, which is diamond number 4. You have four different choices to choose from. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the right solution. Are you ready? Do you have the answer? Let me move forward and share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As with a lot of other questions, the key to answer this question is to detect the pattern. If you look closely, you will see the diamonds filled with the arrowheads, triangles, which are moving in a different direction. The direction of the arrowheads rotates 90 degrees clockwise with every next shape in the pattern. For example, in the first shape, they move to the 12 o'clock position of the clock. Then they move to the 3 o'clock position and then to the 6 o'clock. So if you detected this pattern in the missing shape, the arrowheads should be at the 9 o'clock position. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. I have a surprise for you. I have a question for you to test your skills now. Please take a close look at the picture and see if you can come up with the next item in the sequence. You have four different choices to choose the right answer from. Choices A, B, C, and D. Give yourself a few seconds to see if you can come up with the solution. Do you see the answer? If you found the answer, please make sure to post it in comments. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here's an amazing question where you need to determine relationships between the objects. You're presented with the two pairs of objects. In the first example, a red rectangle with another object inside has the is to relationship to the yellow circle with another object, also with another object inside. You need to determine the relationship of the gray rectangle with the red diamond inside and find the missing object among four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Ready or not, I am moving forward to share with you final answer. And obviously, this is only my version of the solution. If you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. You're probably tired of hearing this on this channel. But the key to determine the relationship is look for patterns. In this example, the inner object increases in size to become the background element for the next object. At the same time, the outer element reduces in size to become the inner object for the final shape. In addition, objects preserve the colors when changing their sizes. So to find the final answer, you need to look for the gray rectangle which decreases size and becomes the inner object in the foreground, where red diamond becomes the larger object in the background. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And now I have a question for you to test your skills. Please calculate the answer and post the answer in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. You need to count all dollar signs in the image. Take a close look at the image and see how many you can count. You have four different choices. Choice A, six. Choice B, seven. 
choice C8, choice D9. Make sure to pause this video to get to the correct solution. And once you're ready, please make sure to post in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here's an amazing question to test your pattern recognition skills. You need to determine which shape comes next in the sequence. You're presented with three 3x3 three three square boxes. Inside the large square box, there are small shapes, and the fourth shape in the sequence is missing. You have four different choices to choose from to replace the fourth missing shape. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Ready or not, I am moving forward and share with you the correct solution. I love these questions because there is a series of patterns that's happening here. To solve this challenge, most of the times you need to determine one or two patterns. Let's look at each pattern in more details. In the first square, diamond shape is in the upper middle section. In the next square, diamond rotates 90 degree clockwise. And now it is in the middle row to the right. In the next square, diamond is in the middle column at the bottom. So we can correctly assume that in the fourth shape, diamond would be in the middle row to the left. Alternatively, in the pattern 2, circle shape is changing its position to being in the center of the square to the new position in the bottom middle column. As part of pattern 3, the cross shape diagonally changes corners. And the most interesting is the pattern 4. In this pattern, the triangle shape is dependent upon position of the diamond. Triangle follows the diamond and is in the pattern of being either in the left or below of the diamond shape. This is why the correct choice here is choice D. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. A lot of you are interested and ask me how can I help others? One of the ways you can help other people is by sharing the latest questions you see as part of the assessment test. And when you share, please make sure to also include how you answered them. Please share the question you recently encountered in the comment section of this video. And if you know the answers, please share them as well. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. I hope you will be as amazed as I am when looking at this question. You are presented with three sets of diamonds. Each set contains numbers outside of the diamonds as well as inside the diamonds. Let's look at the first diamond. It has numbers 2, 4, 16, 22 and then there is a number in the middle 44. The second set of diamonds contains numbers 3, 9, 81, 93 and 186 inside. And then the last set of diamonds has two numbers visible, which are 5 and 25, and three numbers missing. You need to select the missing three numbers out of four possible choices. Choice A, 495, 720, and 970. Choice B, 625, 655, and then 1310. Choice C, 780, 935, and 1,935. And then the last but not least is choice D with 545, 610 and then 1,000. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Typically you get between 20 and 30 seconds on the real test, so feel free to pause this video if you need more time. But on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you see a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Nothing new here with this question. And my advice to you as usual, always look for patterns. Let's look at the patterns here. If we number the corners of the diamonds as well as the middle with the letters of the English alphabet A, B, C, D and E, we can build a pattern. And the pattern will be B is calculated as A multiplied by A basically a square c is calculated as b multiplied by b d is calculated as a plus b plus c and then e is calculated as c multiplied by 2. let's look at the example if we look at the first set of diamonds the number at the bottom of the diamond is 2. the number on the left 
is calculated as 2 multiplied by 2, which equals 4. The number on the upper side of the diamond is calculated as 4 multiplied by 4 and equals 16. Then the number on the right is calculated as 16 plus 4 plus 2 and equals 22. And then the number in the middle of the diamonds is calculated as 22 multiplied by 2 and equals 44. If you follow this logic and do this calculation, you will come up with the choice B. And choice B is represented by the numbers 625, 655 and 1310. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here is an unusual question, but we're starting to see it on the test more and more often. You need to select three numbers which add up to 52. And there are eight choices to select three numbers. You have numbers 7, 24, 33, 5, 9, 11, 17, and number 12 presented for selection. Do you see the answer? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds. See if you can pause this video to get to the correct solution. I am pretty sure you figured it out, but just in case, I am moving forward to get you to the correct answer. As you might have guessed, the correct numbers are 7, 33, and 12, because 7 plus 33 plus 12 equals 52. Keep in mind that this may not be the only solution. A lot of times, in questions like this, there are other options available. Do you see any other set of numbers that lead to the required result? If you found another possibility, please make sure to post in comments. Here is an extremely tricky question, but I have full confidence that you will be able to solve it. You are presented with the sequence of circles, which is also organized in a circle. Sequence starts with the red circle with the number 56 inside. Next circle has number 114. Following it, circle with the number 232. Then circle with the number 470. Then circle with the number 948. Then follows the circle with the number 1906. And then comes the circle with the missing number. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. What's interesting about this problem is that all circles have different colors and some circles have the same size and other circles have different sizes. But regardless, you need to select one of the following four choices. Choice A, 3812. Choice B, 3824. Choice C, 3820. And then choice D, 3800. As I mentioned, this is a tricky problem, but regardless, I'm moving forward to reveal the final solution to you. And as usual, what I'm sharing is just my version of the solution, so feel free to share yours in comments. You might be tired of hearing me saying it all the time, but pattern is the key to solve this challenge. And different shape sizes and colors are introduced on the objects here in the picture just to confuse you. So let's look at the pattern. The pattern here is previous number plus the sequence number multiplied by 2 and you have to add previous number to the sequence before doing multiplication. So let's look at the simple calculations. The first number in the sequence is number 56. If we add 1 to 56, which is the sequence number, then multiplied by 2, 57 multiplied by 2 is 114. Let's do the same thing to number 114. 114 plus 2 multiplied by 2 equals 116 multiplied by 2, which is 232. So our final number, 1906 plus 6, which is the sequence number, multiplied by 2 equals 1912 multiplied by 2, which equals 3824. If you liked my version of the solution, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. I would like to ask you to participate in our daily assessment test challenge. I post new question every day in the community tab of YouTube channel and give you an opportunity to answer it and try it. And I post answer in comments next day. So please make sure to check it out to test your knowledge. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's the cool question to test your analytical skills. You're presented with the sequence of squares. In each square box has triangles. 
First box has two triangles. Second box has four. Next one has six. One after that has ten. And you need to determine number of triangles you should put in the box with the question mark. You have four different choices. Choice A, ten. Choice B, twelve. Choice C, fourteen. And then choice D, sixteen. Do you know the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video and look at these pictures closely. I am pretty sure you figured it out, but just in case, I am moving forward to share with you the final solution. As you might have guessed, to get to the correct answer, you need to look for patterns. And there are two patterns we see here on this picture. The first pattern is that each box contains triangles that are incrementally increasing. Pattern 2 shows you how to calculate triangles. And to calculate triangles in the next box, the triangles in the previous two boxes should be summed up. For example, the actual calculations start with the square 3. And to get to the number of triangles in square 3, you need to add 2 triangles plus 4 triangles, which equals to 6. Based on this logic, to calculate number of triangles in the last box, you need to add 6 plus 10, which would be equal 16 triangles. So the correct answer here is choice D, 16 triangles. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. I wanted to ask you for a favor. There are a lot of people that you might know that would benefit from this content. Would you be able to share this content with them? Unless of course you're driving. Then you can do it right after you get off the car. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. I love this amazing question because it tests you on out-of-the-box thinking. You need to rearrange the glasses with water by only touching one glass. And you need to get from configuration 1 on the top to bottom configuration by only touching one glass. Take a close look to see how you can do it. I'm pretty sure you figured it out, but just in case, I am moving forward to share the solution with you. As I mentioned, you need to think out of the box. And the solution is to take the second glass from the left and pour the water into the second from the end empty glass container. Typical thinking to solve this problem is just to move the glasses. But out of the box thinking is pour the water from one glass to another. Can I ask you to do me a favor? If you know someone who is getting ready for the interview or assessment test, please share this video with them. This is going to help them pass and get hired for their dream job. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here is a rather unexpected question you might frequently see on the test. You need to determine during which period revenue declined and you're presented with the profit and loss chart that covers periods from 2018 to 2024. On the chart, you see three lines representing revenue expenses and taxes and you need to select the final answer out of four different choices choice a the period between 2018 and 2020 choice b the period between 2019 and 2020 choice c the period between 2020 and 2021 and choice d the period between 2023 and 2024 give yourself a little bit of time maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution I am pretty sure that by now you found it, but I am going to move forward and reveal you my version of the solution anyway. And if you know the better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The way I see it is that the revenue goes down between the period of 2020 and 2021, which is represented by the blue line. In 2020, the revenue was about 9.5 units, and then in 2021, it went down to approximately 8.5 units. All other highlighted periods in the question indicate revenue increases. Did you see it differently? Please make sure to post your answer in comments. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for all your endorsement, support and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, 
please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.